For months now, it looked like Kamala Harris was going to beat Donald Trump and create history by becoming the first female president and first South Asian president of the United States of America. But on election day, she fell short of Joe Biden's 2020 votes tally by around 12 million votes. Meanwhile, Trump got 2 million votes more than in 2020 and performed better in almost every demographic. Lee Andrews is an Englishman who is close to the political life in politics in England, and on a visit to the cash freeze market, he gave some interesting answers to the question of why Trump won. I'm a friend of mine, he's personal friends with Donald Trump, he's out there at the moment, he's a, he's a, a politician from the UK, and a lot of people didn't believe that Trump would win this. I did. I think he, he, he resonates with a lot of people, especially young Americans. He has got the black vote because I think they can see for themselves that the uncontrolled immigration in America is affecting people. Andrews had a somewhat conservative take on what drove American voters away from the Democrats back into the arms of Trump. Unfortunately, um, in, in our country now, we are living in what you call a woke society because Christians or anyone that believes in Jesus and God, we're prevented somewhat from saying that through fear. And a lot of Muslims are coming, not all of them, but a lot of Muslims are coming. And at the moment with the war in Israel, which is bad, they are supporting Palestine. Okay, they are supporting Palestine. Well, there's two sides to the story. We've got the Israelis that are doing a very bad job of bombing these people and killing lots of innocent people. But we've got the other side where the terrorists from Iran are being funded and they're sending bombs over. So we're living in a very, very unstable world. The world has in fact been unstable since the beginning of this millennium. And immigration has been a cornerstone of the American economy for its entire history. However, the number of black men who voted for Trump in spite of the racist rhetoric of the candidate and his surrogates tells a different story. There's a big divide in America. You've got a lot of poor black people in America that don't get no help from anybody. They looked for Obama to come in and Obama didn't do a lot. He may have said us some nice things, but I don't think he did a lot for the people. Let's hope in some way that Trump can do this. Whether or not Trump can do this, as Andrews put it, remains to be seen. However, his victory seems to have legitimized fears that he will keep his promise to raise tariffs, deport immigrants without due process, and use his power to seek revenge on his political enemies. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seaflake.